Today I have out my Walter PPKS. I wanted to do a quick review on this. I've had this gun since 2007, so for the past 13 years I've had a lot of carry experience, shooting experience. I want to talk about that a little bit. So I assume that as a viewer you're here either because you're a collector or because you're considering buying one of these guns. Or maybe you're just curious. So the definition of the PPKS Poetsai Pistol Kurtz or short or in my case it's PPKS which is stainless that's the model I have it's made by Inner Arms I'm going to show you it's unloaded here it carries Walter's name came in the country via Inner Arms in Virginia this company is now I the owner died, passed away in 1998. Uh, I don't know what happened to the company after that, but if you look on their website, they're around today. They exist. They were bought out and rebranded in Texas. Um, a similar company. They uh, haven't really investigated too much into the products they manufacture, but they're still in the firearms business. So you can go check those out if you want. This is a, a 380 pistol, of course. Uh, a lot of people know it as the James Bond gun. It's in caliber 380 or 9mm Kurtz as it's stamped on the side. So what was included in the box, you get this plastic box. Got a little cleaning rod here for the barrel, the gun of course. Now when I purchased this when I got it used, it came with this aftermarket magazine. It's a 7 round magazine from... Uh, Mechgar, which is an Italian company. It's stamped along the side there, made in Italy. They make a variety of aftermarket magazines for different weapons. I purchased this one later. This is what the original magazine sort of looks like. This one's a new example from Walter. Uh, it's got the finger rest at the bottom. A lot of European pistols followed suit. This nylon holster is an inside the waistband holster. I'm a lefty. Uh, this I purchased it from eBay. I don't recall the seller. I looked back in my history. I couldn't find it uh, But it's very comfortable. The nylon is nice and beefy to hold up the weight of the pistol Which by the way, this is a very heavy pistol for its size the spring Inside of it feels like it came off of a tractor or something. It's absolutely It's very stiff the weight of the pistol, it's just as heavy, if not heavier, than my Glock 26, which is the normal gun that I carry. And you really have to put a little strength into racking the slide back so that the magazine will feed the first round. If you don't pull it quite enough, you'll you'll not get a round in the tube. It's, it takes some practice at the range it takes a little practice i've read that it's a 17 pound trigger pull i don't know that for a fact um but i would believe it if you're a first time gun buyer uh, you recently got your permit or license to carry i would not recommend buying this off the bat you it's doable you take it to the range you practice with it you know impossible is as a matter of opinion, it's not a fact, but I would strongly recommend looking into a polymer pistol first. There's a plethora of them out there, <clears throat> plenty with and without safeties, magazine releases, uh, ambidextrous types. Uh, there are a ton of weapons out there that you can practice with, that you can get comfortable with. As far as uh, the grip, if you hold it a little too high, it will pinch you. The slide will pinch you. The recoil, it takes some practice. It takes some getting used to, to fire this weapon effectively and, and, uh, and without injuring yourself. 